So this is our second problem of KCL. Here the idea is very simple. The current across the 5 ohm resistor or 2 ohm resistor uh, need to be measured. Okay. So uh, I can tell you that as there is no element is being located in between this line. So I can short this line. Okay. So this circuit may be drawn over here. This is 5 ohm. This is voltage. V. Or I can say that that this point is V. Okay. So instead of writing this, I can say that this one is V voltage. Okay. As there is no element is been present over here. Okay. So So I can erase this. Okay. So this is V and 2 ohm resistor and the last one is a current source of value to V is been included. Just like my previous method, I take that this is my reference direction of current and according to this reference direction I can say or I can measure this type of total KCL value. I can take as this one is I1, this one is I2 and as the value of 2V and 10 is been given so I am not going to uh, take that in a uh, um, I don't want to uh, say another name for that. Okay. So the current is as this is in the negative direction and the current is been flowing in this direction and the 10 ampere is opposite direction. That is why I can write it as minus 10. Minus 10 plus I1 plus I2 plus 2V is equal to 0. Okay. So, I have to find out the value of V. Okay. So, what is the value of V? The V is, if I take the 5, 5 ohm resistor. Okay. So, this part is V. And here 5 ohm is been flown in this direction and this one is I1. So instead of I1 I can write it or I can replace it as minus V as this is plus minus minus V minus 5 I1 is equal to 0 or I1 is equal to V by 5. Okay. Similarly, I can write that I2 is equal to V by 2. By replace it over here, the equation is very simple. V by 5 plus V by 2, this one, this one, plus 2V is equal to 10. Okay. Taking LCM 10 2V plus 5 plus 20 is equal to 10. Okay, so I can erase this portion. So by simplifying this equation, this is 2V. So 2V is 20V. Uh, so uh, 22V 22V 10 to 5 
V one second V and okay twenty V so twenty seven V okay twenty seven V is equal to hundred or V is equal to hundred divided by twenty seven so by using this calculator I need to calculate that portion which is three point seven zero three point seven zero okay so the current i one is v divided by five so three point seven zero divided by five this is the value of i one so once again if i calculate that 0.74 amps as it is the current and i2 means v by 2 once again 3.70 divided by 2 <coughs> One point eight five amps. Okay, so I am successfully getting the current across the value of across uh, resistor five ohm and two ohm. Our final answer is I one is equal to uh, zero point seven four amps, and I two is equal to. 1.85 amps so this is the final equation that i have got from this formulation hope you understand the total process on how i find out this type of formulation